Nintendo has spun the merry-go-round and now we've got even more awesome first-party titles on sale plus a bunch of really good eShop games from some underrated franchises and some ultra cheap gems that I can't wait to highlight for all of you in today's new sale. What's going on everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. It's so good to see the first party stuff going around the merry-go-round and getting substantial 25% off discounts. I love this. We recently had a bunch of first party physical titles and now we've got new ones. So make sure to let me know in the comments down below which of these games you're excited to pick up, which you'd recommend for friends and smash that like button if you like your Switch games on the cheap. We're going to jump straight into it with Best Buy having a great sale right now on Astral Chain. This is the lowest price that Astral Chain has ever been since launch last August. It's $44.99 that puts it at 25% off. This is a great game. It is Platinum delivering an exclusive published by Nintendo bringing crazy combat and a wild story to the Switch. I think this game now kind of gets forgotten that it came out on the platform because we do have so much love for Animal Crossing and we're excited for Paper Mario. Astral Chain is not one to sleep on, and if you skipped it or didn't have the money during last year's crowded fall, $45 is a great price. Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu, although I'm preferential to the Eevee variety, are also $44.99, 25% off. Now, Sword and Shield have yet to see a $45 discount as far as I'm aware, but for the previous year model, Let's Go does get that 25% discount. Now, I really like Let's Go, even though it is a retread of the OG Pokemon games. They're done in a very nice way, and I don't think this is the last we see of the Let's Go label, so if you want to get in on Let's Go, as they'll probably have a new Let's Go covering a new gen at some point soon, this is a good option, and I think it's a nice nostalgic trip. If you don't have nostalgia for the original red, blue, and yellow, then it's still a fun, charming Pokemon game with a totally different art style and almost a totally different vibe than what you get from Sword and Shield. Now, we also have Super Mario Odyssey down to $49.99. That's only 17% off, but still a good price. This one was on sale at Amazon recently, but it sold out quick. So you want to grab it. It is a great game. Do we need to talk about Mario Odyssey? It looks like Mario is bringing back uh, a lot of his past adventures later this year. Fingers crossed those get announced soon. Right now, though, this is a great way to get the Switch-defining Mario experience for $50. Bucks. We also have Octopath Traveler for $45. That puts it at 25% off. Eight stories, all interwoven, a very unique way to handle a classic old-school JRPG. This one released in 2018. It surprised me. It surprised a lot of people. I wish it was cheaper, but games of this sort, especially since it's published by Nintendo, do not drop that far. Last but not least, it's Mario & Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020, a title that I think should be clearancing out at this point. I mean, there aren't any 2020 Olympic Games. And it's a sports title that isn't Mario Tennis Aces. It's a little bit of a lesser quality. It's still fun, but I wish this one was down to like 20 bucks. But if you do want to save 33% off, it's a good game. It's not great. It's fun. There's like this 8-bit mode with kind of these like classic uh, event type games. And it's pretty fun. And you get to see the interwoven tale of Sonic and Tails and Mario and Luigi and Bowser. And it's pretty fun. Moving over to the eShop, we got Sniper Elite 3 Ultimate Edition for $13.99. That's 60% off till July 16th. Now, I think the Sniper Elite franchise is really solid, and I think the games are a bit underrated, and they play really good on Switch. I like the idea of going to work with slow-mo sniper shots on all sorts of people that probably deserve it. Now, the Ultimate Edition packs in all the DLC. This game came out just a couple months before we hit the pivotal year of 2020, and I like it a lot. I think they run really well on Switch, and in terms of shooters on Switch, the twitchy ones like Doom, I find them harder to control. You're kind of like strafe aiming, but Sniper Elite is a slower pace shooter where you can really line up the shots, use that gyro, and I think it is a great fit, and this is a really good deal at 60% off. They also have Zombie Army Trilogy down to 2624, a little bit less of a discount, but still 25% off till July 16th. I loved Zombie Army 4. Sadly, that one's not on Switch. This is going to catalog the past of Zombie Army games, but they're fun B-movie quality experiences. Like, this is not going to win any game of the year, but you got four-player multiplayer. It does have online play, and it's really, really just a quality time that you can spend uh, locally or online with your friends. Um, it is local wireless, so I think you're going to need multiple systems, by the way, but you get in, kill a bunch of zombies, have a bunch of different... Uh, upgrades and perks as you go and play a part in some really silly like movie based campaigns uh, I think these games are, are definitely under the radar um, and same with Sniper Elite V2 Remastered It's also $13.99 and I recommend Sniper Elite 3 a little bit more because it's a newer title But V2 is still a quality game uh, and it is also seen a 60% discount till July the 16th 
Let's go to Assassin's Creed, the Rebel Collection. Valhalla just got its big welcome to the world moment at the Ubisoft Forward event, which by the way, they announced nothing for Switch. Thanks guys. I'm hoping that you'll cure that at your next Ubisoft Forward event, but um, really a big bummer that you decided to leave out the best platform of all. Anyhow, it seems like they're saying, whoops, we forgot about you. Let's put our games on big sale. This is a really good deal for the AC Rebel Collection. You get Black Flag and Rogue for 20 bucks. It's basically 10 each. I like that a lot. And then you also have AC Remastered, AC3 Remastered for $15. That's 63% off. Uh, these are both till July 21st, um, and this also includes Liberation. So you're going to get basically two AC games for their 15 bucks, or two AC games for $20, and I think those are good to have on the Switch. They're, they're not perfect ports, uh, but they do run well, and in some ways, the older AC games are more fun than the newer ones. So maybe you're actually the winner after all. FIFA 20 Legacy Edition is 15 bucks. That's 70% off till July 19th, and if you're really excited uh for some sporting adventures um this is a pretty good one you know ea doesn't seem to love the switch they've promised seven games we got burnout paradise remaster which is a really good port and it seems like we're getting like a need for speed hot pursuit port and we're gonna get some eventual other things like fifa 21 we're not getting madden we're not getting a mass effect trilogy we're not getting a dead space trilogy kind of a bummer but if you are uh jonesing for some some football on the cheap here you go Guacamelee 2 is a game that's on sale quite often, but the complete edition is $8.99, 60% off till July 19th. I love Guacamelee. One of the best Metroidvania beat-em-ups there is. It's got really clever combat, great character progression, beautiful, vibrant, colorful art, and this one has four-player drop-in, drop-out, local co-op. Now, again, the complete edition is going to give you the DLC for a buck more. If you want to save a dollar, you can get the regular for $7.99. I've sung the praises of Guacamelee a lot. I think it's a must-own game, and the second one uh, is a little bit more chaotic and crazy, and it's totally fine to jump in. You don't need to play the first one. It's all about that combat and the combos and feeling like an absolute luchador hero. Now, we've got Death Squared, one of my favorite co-op games on the platform for a buck forty-nine. And so when you see a game for 90% off till August 3rd, I have to recommend it because Jake and I love playing this one. I got to tell Gabe because I don't think Gabe ever got into Death Squared, but it's so good. They added new free updates along the way, so you're getting a very full package, which packs in about 80 levels. It's got four-player levels. It's great for two-player co-op. This is the perfect girlfriend game, boyfriend game game for your brother, sister, mom, dad, like it's really, really fun. They've got some extra challenging levels that are going to really push your minds. And it's just, it's a good time. It looks good. The puzzles feel like they're fun, almost like portal style while still being very cerebral. And I think that's a really hard mix to achieve. Next up, we got over the top tower defense from the same folks. This one's 79 cents. That puts it at a whopping 90% off again till August 3rd. SMG Studios does great work. Excited to see what they're going to do next. This is a tower defense game that has a lot of crazy characters and towers and boss battles. And I do recommend it, especially, goodness gracious, at 80 cents. That's crazy. Deadly Premonition Origins is its lowest price. It's been down $15. That's 50% off till July 27th. Now, this is going to be the cult favorite, but just got a sequel. But the sequel runs like absolute garbage, and it's more expensive. So if you want to get in and see what's up with this, I think you probably have to play the first game to appreciate the second game. And some people say that the first game is a lot better. So this is an opportunity to do something really weird. The agent that you play as, name is Zach with an H, so I respect that. Um, it is going to be bad, but it's supposed to be bad, if you know what I'm saying. So if you want to get in on that, it's not really for me, but if it's for you, 15 bucks. We got Mad Carnage down to 39 cents. That puts it at 92% off till July the 20th. This is a pretty fun tactical game. Uh, it is based on sort of like Mad Max. That's what it obviously has a very, I mean, it's Mad Carnage, a very, very parallel vibe to. Um, they've got a campaign mode. Um, there is local multiplayer. Um, and it's a it's a pretty cool game with a decent story. And most mostly it's like just this interesting car combat um as you you know use all the different weapons to survive uh, and defeat 20 different levels we've got bulb boy which is a fun horror point and click um it's a horror but it's not scary it's a more just like silly but with like weird vibes i think a lot of people would enjoy this especially if you're you know, if you like like the Slender Man type stuff, although it's not even as it's much more simplistic, um, but it's very fun. It's two twenty four. That's seventy five percent off till August or sorry, till July twenty third. A lot of people love this game. I remember PewDiePie actually really loved Ball Boy, and I like it a lot as well. It's not going to like win any awards, uh, but it is a fun, decently short uh, adventure that you can have for two bucks and twenty four cents. Last in the shot, we got Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom. This is the good, good, good game pick of the week for $17.99. 55% off till July 30th. A lot of people love the beautiful art in this wonderful 2D side scroller. You got a lot of different characters. 
It's a big game too. 15 hours, 60 frames per second, beautiful art, looking lavish. I never played it. Maybe now I buy it. Maybe now I do. Maybe this is when I get it because it does look lovely. I do like boss battles. Um, there's a lot of upgrades, hidden locations, and all the different forms that you unlock along the way. So maybe I'll dive in because $40 is a lot for this game. I mean, maybe it's not given that it's got like HD rumble, 60 FPS, 15 hours, hand-drawn animation, but $17.99, woo, 55% off feels great. Now, before we get out of here, I want to take you to Target, where they've got some really good sales on some just-released Switch ports. we got the Outer Worlds for $49.99. That's 17% off. It's not a fantastic port, but it works well enough, and it's still impressive to see that big of a game, Obsidian's latest adventure, Fallout in Space, uh, on the Switch. You also got the Bioshock Collection for $40. That's 20% off. Borderlands Legendary Collection for $40. Again, 20% off. And the XCOM 2 Collection for $40. 20% off. That's packaging all the Bioshock games, my favorite franchise of all time. Borderlands 1, 2, and pre-sequel, which are great to have together, and XCOM 2 plus War of the Chosen and all of its DLC. They all run well. 2K supports the heck out of the Switch, and as we see EA and Ubisoft start to not seemingly love the Switch as much, I feel like it's important to give 2K some love because they'll be bringing basketball, wrestling, uh, and their classic franchises to our platform. Now, you also have the Assassin's Creed games, again, for 20 uh, if you want to get them physically instead of digitally. And then Saints Row 4 Reelected, which is the sort of a port remastered version for Switch, 25% uh, off down to $30. And that's going to do it for the day, guys and girls. What are your picks? Mine are, hmm, I gotta love Astral Chain at 45 And Pokemon Let's Go at 45 also gets my recommendation. But also on the eShop, it's Sniper Elite 3 Ultimate Edition for $14. You got Death Squared for $1.49. You got the Assassin's titles for $20 and $15. Splitting those up because it's two per game. It's like $10 and $7.50, which I think is really good. Um, and then I like all the 2K stuff. I'm just a fan of their franchises over at Target for 40 bucks. But let me know what you guys pick and what you would recommend in the comments down below. Love seeing the first party stuff on sale. Hopefully, you guys do as well. If you enjoy and appreciate these videos, smash that like button. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay smart out there. Hope you guys are doing well. Spread kindness and love. I love you. And until next time, have a fantastic day. Switch Force out.